fine. All right, what do we got here? One of the oysters is sitting up in bed and doesn't look very happy. He seems to be the only one who can't sleep. Oysters. In the oyster's mouth, Alexander can see a glint of white. So you got a pearl, presumably. Why aren't you asleep like the other oysters? Play the flute. Why the flute? You're trying to get me killed. Alexander plays a lovely little oh, tune on the flute. Oh, a lovely little tune, Fritz. Oh, what is that? What is that in there? Oh, I hate it. That's making me really uncomfortable. That is. That was for sure Webby from DuckTales. Can I do that? Or Why don't you let me see if I can help? No way! No one's looking in my mouth! I hate dentists! Okay. Why don't you let me see- No way! What, what the, the heck, heck is that? that? Get away from me! Alexander hears someone coming. I fear scars of the aisle we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. Old Tom Troll, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Is that... Oh. Oh, we're doing stuff. Okay. Alert, my brothers, as we feared. A man, a man has landed here. A man, a man so sad nose, into the waiting sea he goes. Oh no! The gnomes toss does, Alexander yeah, right. too far out into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents drag him under. Rip. I am D E D. Straight to hell. Up. Next. Guess those gnomes couldn't reach a consensus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh. Let's see. I wonder if Alexander pulls out I his if magic I map. Try a different island, or if I should just. They those gnomes appeared when I was trying to walk away, but sometimes stuff like that is timed. I'm gonna Alexander feels shot. a. I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try to not fuck around with this oyster, and I'm gonna try and just get out of here. Alexander hears someone coming. Rusty Taylor, aka Oyster, aka Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webigale. Thank you, Mike MVP. Thanks for looking that up. These fucking guys. All right, so these guys are just gonna I... show up anytime I do anything. Oh, here. They can smell me. I don't think I knew that that was Rusty Taylor. I wonder if I was right about the dog captain also. The record I said that the dog the gnomes captain toss Alexander too far out captain into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents rather, drag him under. His name. Uh, but I thought that it was the person who did the uh, Tony the Tiger voice. I can't remember. Girl, girl Raven's craft or something. Uh, let's see what we got. 
guess those gnomes couldn't reach a consensus. Tony J. Restore. Tony J. Oh, he's Frollo. That's why he sounds so familiar. Frollo, Shere Khan and Jungle Book, and Tailspin. Okay. So I recognize the voice, but I misidentified it. Wow. How did they get such big voice actors for this? Uh, Alright. Well, I guess I'll try another island. Frollo. <laughs> Uh, Claude Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Frollo Baggins, Fritz. Are you still on pain meds? Is Alexander that... pulls out his magic map. Is that ridiculous things? Alright, um... Let's try... I love the secret. Alexander magic. feels a strange pulling sensation. There's an ugly flower growing near the base of the cliff. Ugly flower? Alexander notices an unusually large, cold black feather lying on the beach. Feather? There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. I didn't decide that. Ignorance kills. Wisdom elevates. Uh... I did the map already. Ignorance kills. Wisdom elevates. Isle of the sacred mountain. The rock has been etched by some unknown hand. One may need to read about the logic cliffs in the guidebook to the land of the green isles in order to understand this mystical inscription. Is this some fucking anti-piracy bullshit? King's Quest 6 guidebook. So they used to, um, if you're not familiar, these PC games from the early 90s, early, mid, early and mid 90s, they used to put these anti-piracy measures like in the game where you would need to have the, like, um, some material, whether it be something on the box or, a, or the book that came with the game or something would be in the original packaging that you would have, you, you would have gotten if you had purchased the game retail. And you need that in the game at some point. And so the idea is if you've pirated it, you have a, you know, maybe like a ripped copy or something that you downloaded, you wouldn't be able to play through the game. Third word on the second line in the fourth page of the manual. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Um, thankfully, a lot of uh, the time you can find these uh, online now and they know that, so no one really cares. Uh, what would you say the third word on the second line in the fourth page of the manual. So we've got, I've got the manual up. Second line, third word is remote. Oh, <laughs> it, I mean, it could be something like that. Uh, you're right. I thought you were serious. Um, so let's see what it says about the... Uh, Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Okay, yeah, there's a... There's a cipher in the book. I don't know how it applies to this. Let's see. Oh, I like way, 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 way past what I was supposed to be looking for. That cipher is not for this. Logic Cliffs? 
One of the most intriguing artifacts left by the art, ancient ones are the logic cliffs. The cliffs are so named from a series of riddles written on the face uh, of the cliffs leading from the beach of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain to the Winged One City, chiseled painstakingly into solid rock. The viewer must question what purpose the words serve. From the ancient scroll that references the cliffs, it can be determined that the riddle on the cliff were part of an elaborate mechanism designed to protect those who dwelt on top of the cliffs. Blah, 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 blah. For some reason, only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs. So I might not be in the right spot right now. That might be. There appears to be something. The rock has been etched by some huh? unknown hand. One may need to read about the Logic Cliffs in the guidebook to the Land of the Green Isles in order to understand this mystical inscription. Okay. So I'm in the right spot in the book for sure. Following translation from the Cliffs of Logic Scroll might help the reader understand the mystique that surrounds this artifact. First challenge, only those of pure heart will be able to rise the Cliffs of Logic. The third challenge, stones of stealth, are associated with this riddle four men standing in a row. So it seems like I need something to make me pure of heart. Grab the feather. Yeah, I'm probably going to grab that. Alexander takes the feather. Uh-huh. Alexander is carrying an unusually large black feather. It's a big feather. Let's grab this. Click. Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its hideously strong skunk-like odor. For a moment he can smell nothing else. Okay. Um... I'm going to go, so now that i got this smelly old flower, I'm going to go back to, let's save, uh, smelly flower. And I'm going to go back to the Isle of Alexander Wonder. pulls out his magic map. Yeah, this guy says that I need, that the first challenge is only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs of logic. So I'm not sure... Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Make me pure of heart. But that seems like maybe something that might come later. Alright, so these clowns are going to come, but they're not going to be able to smell me now, hopefully because of this uh, flower that I just picked Alexander up. Alexander hears someone coming. Let's see. Maybe Fritz is going to get a show. Another show of me getting thrown out into the ocean. Five fierce guards of the Isle we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands, and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. I don't know if I have the opportunity to pull the flower out. Old control. Maybe I'll just work. Maybe I'll try. Do that which you do so well. Let's see what he says. I do have the opportunity to do that. Phew, that flower stinks. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower <laughs> tis all and nothing more. Okay. Listen, hark you, Roland Lord. Thing. Do your duty as you soar. With your ears, please tell us more. My ears can't miss that strong heartbeat. A man it is. A yeah. man we greet. Okay. A man, a man, so say our ears. We shall send him to his beer. Damn. 
the gnomes toss Alexander too far out into the sea for him to get his footing, the currents drag him under. So I have to find something that's going to cover me on all five senses to get through up. those gnomes. Next. The... I guess those gnomes couldn't yeah, reach a I, consensus. And then I'm going to have to uh, hit all the other islands first. Um, so we'll go back here and then we'll hang out. Um, so listen, uh, it's uh, about time for me to uh, shove off here. Um, but I very much appreciate everyone uh, hanging out. Uh, this was an absolute blast. Uh, and uh, you're all wonderful. Thanks so much for being active and, uh, and helping me out with some of those clues. Um, so again, if you're new here, uh, I am uh, Preston Black, a.k.a. Captain Stick Figure. Um, I'm going to keep doing this one during the week. I don't have a set schedule yet, but, um, make sure, uh, give us a follow and, uh, you can get the notifications when I go live, check out my schedule page on the channel because I keep that up to date all the time. Um, so I'll be back here Sunday, uh, probably around noon Pacific, uh, playing some Ocarina of Time. Uh, that Nintendo 64 classic that everybody loves uh, without question. Uh, I just want to thank you all again uh, so much. It's been a, a really, really, really great time, and I'll see you all next time. What is going on, everybody in Internet land? My name is Preston Black, and welcome to my channel. It is called Captain Stick Figure. Yeesh, says Zaffo. That's not very constructive of you. We're playing War King's Quest Six tonight. What were we doing last time? Who the heck knows? Searching some kind of island situation. There was dog guards, guard dogs. One of them was very threatening to me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find my fiance i don't know if she's actually formally my fiance or if i've just decided there's a bunch of islands it doesn't make any sense i'm sure it's all going to come together let's fucking do it this is where i left off this random island with a clip face using that on the cliff etchings would accomplish nothing oh i have a a map this is what i want so ooh. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. Yeah. Ignorance kills. Wisdom elevates. So I learned that this has to do with something in the guidebook, and they want me to look up uh, the Cliffs of the Green Isles. Or the logic cliffs, I should say. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, let's see. What did it say? Do, 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 do. Riveting gameplay. I love wonder. Where the heck? Here it is, logic cliffs. It's our name for a series of riddles written on the face of the cliffs leading to the... From the beach of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain to the Winged One's city. So, I don't know if I've if I've gotten far enough to be able to solve this yet or if there's some kind of cipher that uh, connects to the guidebook, but I'm gonna abandon this for now. There's no reason to throw that into- I'm not come. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Okay. So, this is the Island of the Sacred Mountain. We tried the Isle of Wonder last time, and those dwarves showed up and murdered us. And I believe I've deduced that I need to find items that will mask me from being a human to each of the dwarves' five senses. 
So, and I don't have those yet. So I guess I'll go to the Isle of Alexander East, feels a strange there. pulling sensation. Here we go. All right, Isle of East. What do we got? Tall, narrow trees abound on that's, each side of the path. Yeah, that's uh, what I assumed, that it was a copy protection. How are you doing, by the way? I'm sorry I didn't formally greet you, because you very rudely cut me off while I was doing my hype intro. Uh, yeah, I've got a copy of, I believe, what I believe is a copy of the guidebook open, and it it just doesn't seem to... I don't want to like read too much into it. Um... But it doesn't seem like I have the means to do that. Which is the first challenge. Only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs of logic. So I don't know what The water that seems means. tranquil at the moment, but a dimpling pattern on the surface indicates a strong undertow. Mm, don't walk out. We learned what happens. A little fawn is feeding on a grassy hillock near the sea. A little fawn. That's nice. Nearby, the stump of a fallen tree still spreads its roots to the sea. Mm -hmm. Alexander is standing at the edge of the sea on a heavily forested island. As far as the eyes can see, tall trees spread out their branches as though straining to link arms, their tops forming a canopy above. A path leads north through the forest. Okay. Um, what's the stump got going on? If the tree stump is hiding anything, it's only local fauna. There's no need to disturb some creature's nest. Fair enough. Fair enough. What is... The trees have small, sparse branches on their lower trunks. They don't lend themselves to easy climbing. Oh, sure, yeah. Tell the kids that I say hello and also good night. Okay. The forest is dotted with clumps of wild mushrooms. Can I take the mushroom? Alexander, not being an expert on poisonous mushrooms, decides not <clears throat> to take a chance on tasting the local variety. That makes a lot of sense. Uh... An old abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. Alexander wonders who might have hunted in these dense woods. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A pond lies across the path. The water boils as if over some magical flame. Okay. Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. Alexander is carrying an unusually large black feather. The small green mint looks very tasty. That mint will get me drunk. I don't feel very good about this, if I'm going to be honest with you. Alright, so at the... Ignorance kills, wisdom elevates. The Isle of the Sacred Mountain. We have... <clears throat> the pawn shop that we can sort of freely exchange these items for or at which we can I've got this flower that seems to be what I need to mask my scent from the dwarves map we've got this random book that doesn't seem to have any value at the moment we've got the flute that's from the uh, pawn shop I've got that feather. I don't know. I can't remember where I got the feather from. And I got the mint, which came from the bookshop. Pawn shop also has nightingale, tinderbox, and painter's brush. None of those things seem like they would help me cross this boiling pond. And yet it doesn't seem like I can go anywhere else. No. No. Oop, don't do that. <laughs> Can I reach that? No, that's coming from way the heck over there. Can I get over there? Don't, don't you. 
What a dummy. And soon realizes a deep sympathy for soup vegetables as he learns the true meaning of being in a stew. That's right. Dickens up. Next. <laughs> it looks like Alexander's in a bit of a stew. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We're here again. All right. Maybe it is something with this. Or maybe I have... <clears throat> what do I have? I've got either the nightingale or the flute. Possibly my... But I don't have anything that would mask my image. I feel like I would need some kind of a... Some kind of like a mask or something to hide from the dwarves. I got smell. I potentially have sound. I don't know. I don't know. What's the deal with the feather? Can I... What did I say about that feather? Alexander is carrying an unusually large black feather. Big black feather. Doesn't seem to do much of anything. Let's see here. What does this say? One of the most intriguing artifacts left by the Ancient Ones are the Logic Cliffs. The cliffs are so named for a series of riddles written on the face of the cliffs leading from the beach of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain, which is where I am, uh, to the Winged Ones City. Chiseled painstakingly into solid rock, the viewer must question what purpose the words serve from the ancient scroll that references the cliffs. It can be determined that the riddles on the cliff were part of an elaborate mechanism designed to protect those who dwelt at the top of the cliffs from undesirables that might arrive from the sea below. The mechanisms may have served as some sort of calling de de device designed to alert those at the top of the cliffs. What a brother. Oh, that a brother. Thought, what a brother. That a brother required admittance. Or perhaps led to secret chambers within the rock itself. Whatever the cliff's purpose was, it was obviously built to admit only those indoctrinated into the secrets of the Ancient One's culture, and for that reason is, alas, as yet unsolved by those who live today. The following translations from the cliffs of Logic Scroll may help the reader understand the mystique that surrounds the artifact. The first challenge, only those pure of heart will be able to rise... The cliffs of logic. But that does not match what this says. This there says, appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. This says, ignorance kills, wisdom elevates. What does that mean? Use the book? The rock. The books are wisdom. Let's try using... Get out of here. What if we use the book? Alexander opens the bargain book and reads a paragraph at random. Mm -hmm. Two dulcimers raised to the degree of forty half dulcimers, divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese, put over the result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of fifty-three and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Phew, what an incredibly boring book. No wonder the bookshop owner wanted to get rid of it so badly. F. That didn't do anything. Uh... Wisdom. Pure of heart. I don't know. I've got nothing from this. Nightingale? No, none of those things say wisdom or elevating... Or pure of heart, pureness of heart, purity, purity of heart. It's very dark in here for some reason. Uh, that's it though. I just don't know. I just don't know what I've done. Maybe there's. Uh, maybe I just haven't. Maybe I've jumped the gun. Maybe I go back to the Isle of the Crown. That has no effect upon the cliff. Shoosh. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I gotta feel like there's something going on with this dish made. 
Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. There's got to be something going on with that dish made. It feels really unresolved and like I just ran past it. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to this woman. Or try to. There's a bird there now. There wasn't a bird there before. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, okay. Let's, uh, all right, first things first. I feel like there's something with the birds, so let me grab that nightingale. Again. See if I can't do something Good with that. day, princess. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex, please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. I already made a selection. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very good, Prince Alex. It is always a pleasure doing business with you. Enjoy the mechanical nightingale and feel free to bring it back anytime. Thank you. All right, I, I feel strongly that there's something to do with that bird and I want to see if I can make something happen. Right, there's the bird there. Oh, oh, we got a chime. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and places it on the ground. I tried to use the flute before. That's okay. Oh, cute. The mechanical nightingale sings a sweet, tinny tune. The real nightingale in the tree cocks her head and listens intently. The nightingale flies to a lower branch and looks at Alexander curiously, as if she were deciding that this human might not be so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad, it turns out. I'm all right. What you got to say? What's up, nightingale? Hello, little nightingale. Hello, of what do you nightingale. sing? The nightingale only looks at Alexander curiously and continues to sing. Uh... Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale. It plays its pleasant tinny tune. The living nightingale in the tree listens to the tune curiously. Mm -hmm. but, but then what? Then what happens? Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. The little bird does not appear to be interested in that. That's not very nice, decomposer. Although the nightingale seems interested in Alexander, she would never allow him close enough to grab her. Okay. <sighs> I have no idea. I have no idea what I got from I had I got a I got the copper piece from the beach. Uh, and that's all I remember getting. But it was a week ago, so... Maybe I got something more. Oh, I got the, um... The family, the, like, sigil. What to do with the nightingale? I can't do anything with what I have here. Uh... I used the ring for something. <clears throat> I used it to uh, get inside the castle. Hopefully I didn't ruin the game by doing that. Uh, it's not. I think you can see here that it is not I don't remember them giving it back to me 
Oh no, I uh Maybe I gave it to the pawn shop owner. Can I get it back? Alexander takes a closer <laughs> look at the items on the counter. Did I really? <clears throat> yeah, I did. I uh I think I can't remember why he needed something more valuable than the copper for the map. For the for the map. The copper wasn't enough for the map. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a goof. Uh, let's see here. That's the copper piece. I can't remember if I already had the sigil. Let's go back to the beach. Because <clears throat> this is when I was, before I got the map. So let's see, hold on. Put some pep in that step. Yeah, okay, there it is. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the <coughs> beach. All right, so... I imagine I hadn't gone inside the Nightingale. Okay, so I haven't yet. Thank you, goddamn Cam. Very nice to see you. Thanks for coming through, and thank you very much for your congratulations. Hype, we getting hype. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go. <clears throat> we'll do the castle again, because I imagine that is uh, probably of importance. <clears throat> Thank you, Cam. I'm also very happy, although I will admit it happened way faster than I thought. <laughs> well, I think... Stop it. <laughs> it... <laughs> I, I figured the purpose behind the ring was to get access into the castle, and since I had done that, I figured I was, uh, I was finished. Excuse me, guardsmen. Uh, uh, guard dogs. I've been traveling for months to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. <laughs> Alexander knows where he's from. I really must see the princess. Could I speak with someone in charge? I hope Who Fritz comes are back, you that Fritz I should really bother likes. Captain Saladin? Huh? Captain My name Saladin. is Alexander. I am a prince of Daventry, and a friend of the princess. A prince, is it? I see. Yeah, I and I am lord so of this much. dusty path. Step aside. <laughs> You'll not be getting into this castle without some proof of your claims. <laughs> Who's a good Who's a good Alexander decides to try his royal insignia ring on the guards. With all of his papers lost really in the shipwreck, to, it is the only uh, possible proof of his identity that, that he can uh, think of. Captain Saladin is voiced Perhaps by this ring will convince you of my identity. It is the royal insignia the, ring of uh, Daventry. Before Christmas, Jesus Christ, in, uh, no, uh, ah, I'm gone. sure. Just let me take a look at that ring. Well, uh, I'm sorry, your highness. It's just that princes are so uncommon in these parts. Let me get Captain Saladin. Ugh, Captain Saladin is so noble. The guard returns a moment later with a majestic-looking creature. Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle, but reflects a will of iron. Prince Alexander of Daventry, I presume. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with your country, but I'm sure Wazir al Hazred will want to meet you, if indeed you are a friend of the princess. Please, follow me. Fire, hellfire. Lord al Hazred, a visitor to see you. Prince Alexander of Daventry. What is it that That's you right. seek, Prince Alexander? It is, it is the horny guy from Hunchback. Pardon it's, the intrusion, my lord. That's one way to put it. But I came to see Princess Cosima. Some months ago, my father, <clears throat> King Graham, saved my family and I from imprisonment under an evil wizard named Mordak. The same wizard that kidnapped the princess? Exactly. When my father rescued us... I was also really excited also to hear Rusty Taylor's Cosima voice uh, last time. 
And uh, I was then your father has there. my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. Such but I'm actors. afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your <laughs> visit. Decomposer, how else are they supposed to know if I'm trustworthy? Yeah. I came to make sure that Kasima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I have no doubt she did exactly that at the time, Prince Alexander. However, things have greatly Alexander. changed for Kasima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. Kasima's parents both became ill and died while she was gone. Kasima is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. Hmm. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. Even if she were, I do not think your visit would be appropriate. You see, it is time for Kasima to take her responsibilities seriously. With her parents gone, she no longer has the luxury to be a carefree maiden. As was her parents' wish, Kasima and I are to be wed. I'm really happy we shall with, rule like, the kingdom the together. In this game, I assure honest. you, our it's, marriage it's is jammers. all Kasima wants now. As a prince and a gentleman, it would be best that you leave before there is any further embarrassment. I see. I suppose that I was mistaken. I thought for certain that Kasima... Well, I apologize. A young man sees what he wishes to see. I'm sorry you've wasted your time traveling to the land of the Green Isles. May your journey home be swift. Perhaps I will take the opportunity to look around your fair land while I'm here. I would advise against that. The kingdom is rather, shall we say, inhospitable these days? We shall. But it is your neck. You may uh, risk it if you true. please. Captain Saladin will escort you from the castle. Good day. You have had your hearing with Wizir Al-Hazred. I trust you'll respect his wishes and not return. I have been instructed not to let you into the castle again. Good day, my lord. Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs at the castle gate, and they nod with understanding. <laughs> Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. Okay, so that's that. So now I've got my ring back, but now I don't have the map. Uh, and there's no nightingale. So I can't play with the nightingale. This clown is sitting here, but I don't have a lamp. He didn't want the tinderbox. That wasn't lamp enough. Um... I've got the mint, I've got the book, the copper, so I can get stuff from the pawn shop. Uh, let's see. What if I... Alright, let's just... Let's look around. She's not out here. Oh, this guy's still... Hey, stranger! Come join me! The water is wonderful! And I can show you the way to the next island! I am not doing that. Come on, jump in! A little water won't hurt you! Yeah, it's totally normal. It's a totally normal thing to do. That's strange. The young boy in the water just disappeared. What a weird thing oh, to well, do. Perhaps he just dove under the water. Mm. That is exactly what that looked like. Oh, it's you! Come on in! Alright, so we're already friends with this guy. Yeah, the, the, the undertow, uh, which is infamous. Um, do I have anything that you want? Why am I here? Can I take that rabbit's foot? I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought you much luck? As you can see, my luck's been out for some time now, despite that old charm. Why don't you take it with you? Perhaps giving the darn thing away will bring me good fortune at last. All right. Perhaps it will at that. Thank you. Okay, get the rabbit's foot. Is there anything else in here? It doesn't look like. 
I already chatted this guy up. Okay, so I think we're done the here. The ferryman. Shush, shush, shush. Well, he did say something about rebuilding the ferry, but that might just be flavor. Well, thanks. No one ever, no one ever thinks about how unlucky the rabbits are that lose their feet. Most people. All right, my lady's not here. Uh, let's see. What do you got to do, Allie? What's going on? This guy's here. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here. Get the mint. There's nothing else sticking out to me. I got a random book. Alright, I am done so. See, uh, I really want to mess with this guy, but I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. Old lamps yes. for new! Yes. Old lamps for new! I understand. I understand. Good day! This guy's hanging around. Um, alright. Oh, I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> the rabbit's foot that I just got. What are we, what the rabbit's foot that? has long, soft fur. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's that. Ah, uh, this game is rich with colorful characters. Um, I guess I... The only thing that Alexander I Alexander is carrying a copper coin of Devantry. King Graham graces the front of the coin. Ooh, Graham! Alexander rubs his fingers over the indentation of King Graham's Just face on the copper that. coin and thinks fondly of home. What a, don't be a creep about it. Just grab it. Um, does, do you have the map yet? The pawn shop's counter is made of a sturdy teak. <laughs> the wood is so well worn by Graham, eager hands uh, and well oiled by the shop's faithful keeper. Um, the counter feels as smooth as. God, shut up about the counter. The counter fe All right, so your man's got the map, but I need something fancy for that that I don't have. Tinderbox, Painter's Rush, Flute, Nightingale. I guess I can... No, there was no Nightingale over there, so I can't do the Nightingale. Uh, and I don't know what to do after that anyway. Let's grab the Flute. What you got to say, old man? Good day, sir. The old man just glares at Alexander does and like does not reply. Absolutely. I just, like, I don't expect this to get me any results, but I just want to try. Just to know that I tried. Although she's not here. Can I just walk in here? No, of course I can't. Will she do something if I play a flute? There's no reason to use that object there. What? Alexander plays a lovely little tune on the flute. Okay, I didn't think so. Alright, uh... Okay, I need... I can't get the map, because I have learned that it's a bad idea to just give that guy my family heirloom. But I, that means I don't have anything valuable to do. Uh, there is nothing on the side of the castle. Hmm. What the H? Look, there's nothing. Grab his foot. Oh, really? Oh my god. I might have done that last time, because that sounds vaguely familiar, but I'm going to do it again, because that sounds hilarious. Good day! Shush. The world-famous talking bear That's right. has been sulking <laughs> ever bear. since his abduction from a small mountain community in California. <laughs> he refuses to discuss real estate. <laughs> That's good. 
Uh, that's good stuff. Well, <laughs> uh, let's see. The flute didn't do anything. Which I didn't think it the would. The counter feels a. All right. Talk to the drum. Rat a tat tat. <laughs> <laughs> Skeleton? He's speechless. <laughs> Shut up. That's great. The man of steel is stumped for an answer. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the crystal ball remains perfectly clear and says nothing. That wasn't as fun. Uh, that was good, good, good stuff. What would you take in a... Sh I, I don't care about the map. I want this stuff. They want the other stuff. Alexander already has a mint. He'd prefer to leave some for the other customers. Oh, I'm sorry. The pike speaks not. <laughs> the wings have long been silent. The dusty shop remains peacefully quiet. The horn has plenty of nothing to say. <laughs> uh, this game. Just great. What would you take in exchange for the magic map? I don't I listen. I don't care about the map right now. Here, take this. Uh, the The lamp dealer is not interested. It's, uh, it's so clever. I love it. Um, lamp dealer is not interested in that tinder box, despite the fact that it looked... It looks kind of like a lamp. <laughs> yeah, those bat wings are just asking to be used. Uh... I'm, I'm a little flummox. I wonder if I can... That mechanical night... If I can Very coax thank that you. nightingale into coming out by playing the nightingale song. Let's try. I don't know what else to do. I'm really stumped that I can't just give that guy my precious ring. Sometimes they... get triggered from coming from particular screens, right? So, yeah, okay, that didn't work. Let's try... Let's try to use it. Mm-hmm. Just as I thought, nothing. Pay him the ring, but get a pearl from another island. But it, everyone yelled at me for giving him the ring. So I'm not going to give him the ring. But I don't know what else to do. I, mean, I can't go to another island unless I get the map. What else can you tell me about the land? The Castle of the Crown sure is a beauty. She's the finest palace ever built, I warrant. That's very helpful. What else can you tell? Some say that the land of the Green Isles is near the edge of the world, and that the deadly currents are a result of a magnetism that sucks life from this world to the next. Oh, that's of just course, a plot of that's loss. just silly talk. I don't think I'm going to get anything useful out of this guy. Well, thanks again for your hospitality. You're always welcome, everywhere. Alexander. Come back anytime. It was everywhere in the early 90s. Everyone wanted, to get a, everyone wanted to get a piece of the pie, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's how you spread diseases. Alright, I'm getting to a point where I am feeling... Like, uh, I don't know what I am doing. Uh, yeah, if you have a hint, I would love a hint. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, uh, that's how they get you! Why did you back down that path like that, like a creep? What the heck was that? Did you see that? Why did he do that? Over here. Does 
nothing over here. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, here's something that I didn't do is apparently there's something. There's a book entitled The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages on the small table in the reading area. It appears that some regular customer likes that book. Volumes of poetry are on display on this bookshelf. Thinking of Cosima, Alexander decides to leaf through one of the volumes of love poetry. He reads, Thy hair, thy lips, thy beauteous face, and all thy studied female grace have won for thee anon a place within this broken breast. Wow. Not bad. Yeah. And another. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Upon the shore the lilies bend, untouched by worldly care, where shadow they her earthly bed, oh, that she were not there. Yikes. And another. <laughs> what was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through, and binds my heart with links so tight, I cannot live without the sight of you? What nameless thing has captured me? and made me powerless to flee. What thing is it without a name that brings my mind e'er back the same to thee? The name of love cannot apply. Its commonness does not decry the haunted, hunted, painful cry that my heart makes for you, that e'er my soul eternal makes for you. That was pretty good. Mm. A little close to home, that one. Yeah. Alexander returns the love poem book to the shelf. Alexander picks up the fallen page. It's the love poem he particularly liked. It must have fallen oh, out what's of up, the Oh, man? Book. Thanks for coming through. I see that old Zalian's lost and another page. Have a wonderful night. You may keep Enjoy it if you like, sir. Times. I have glued the stubborn thing back in place two and times I already. I do rather like it. Thank you, merchant. Hmm. Yes. Ding, ding. All right, so there's this. An antique leather-bound book is displayed on a little stand on the counter. On the elaborate cover is the title, Ye Useful Book of Magic Spells. Oh, what does it say? I didn't say oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the subscription, The Holy Man. You are wonderful, and I already said that I appreciate you, but I still appreciate you. And you're great. You're... Fantastic. Thank you so much. It's very warm in my house. I'm I'm uncomfortable. So I'm sorry if I'm not uh, more excitable. I'm sh I'm sure you've noticed How much I'm, for that I'm book on the lot. counter, merchant? Yeah, you did it the is same. A fine Thank you so much. Book, is it not? I sleep well. I obtained it from the estate of the one and only magician this kingdom has ever had poofed himself into an aardvark in the end, or so I heard. I never found the spells all that useful myself, but then I lead a boring life. I tell you what, if you can find another rare book, something a bit more marketable, I might be willing to exchange the spell book for it. Okay. Good, good, good. So there's that. So we set that up, apparently. Okay. Um, what have I done? I still am, I am still not feeling any closer to. Alexander forward. has a love poem from a book in the bookshop. Okay. Um. Talk to Jolo. I did that. Oh, okay. Old lamps what? for God. new. Jesus, that scared me. Old lamps for new.
good day yeah, again. Shush. All right. Um. I hope. Supposedly, I should be able to talk to the guy that's in the. But he's gone now. Did I ruin my game again? I think I might have. What jar? This jar? Alexander examines the large pot. It's currently empty, but a few scraps in the bottom indicate that it is used as a dump site on occasion. Nice. Alexander is not in the market for pot. Alexander is not in the market for I'm not in the market for pot. Old lamps for new. Oh. Don't you dare. I think I'm looking at I was just looking at a guide to see if there was something I've missed or something. Oh, it mentions showing the Oh, that's optional. Okay, so I don't need this. So the next thing I do is give the ring to the pawn shop owner. According to this guide. Okay. Still the ninja with the raid. What's going on, bud? How you doing? Just having a little. Um, Stealthy Ninja, thank you for your lovely face. Um, all right, I guess I'm giving in this. Would you be willing to take fella. my family ring in exchange for the magic map? My, uh... Daventry, are you a king then? My ring that I love no. so much and I got yelled at. That's Everybody yelled father, at me, at me for giving I'm just the Alexander. ring to, uh... Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful dream. Here. Are you it is only gold. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages. There are more you, important I, things I at stake now. It. For your ring, I would hate to see it melted down for gold. Yeah, that's great. Well, I would also hate ah, that. Ah, and a warning. The old man stuffs the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the pawn shop. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Master! <laughs> I found Prince hammered. Alexander as you on that one minute. wished. He just got a magic map. Mm -hmm. You fool! You've been eating those mints again! I ordered you to stop that! What a doofus. Go to the other islands and tell them. Oh! Mystery. Alright. I want. All right, I have the nightingale now. Supposedly, I can do the nightingale now. Lamp guy is gone. There's my nightingale. As if she were deciding that this human might not be so bad. Oh, I'm not so bad. I'm not gonna cook you, eat you, or anything. All right, so now that I have done that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save. Because I haven't saved in a minute. Okay. So now I've done that. Read the bird the poem. Alexander holds out the poem to the nightingale. Oh, the nightingale doesn't care about the poem, you to Whoa, Alexander's it does! Surprise, Holy the shit! The nightingale swoops down and grabs what? the page from his hand. Get that snake the out of here. The nightingale flies off towards the castle with the poem. Where might she be taking it? Oh man. What a whim. Where is she taking it? Oh, is that it? Oh, we're done. We're done here. Shoot. Okay. Cool. Uh Let's follow that. See, why do you keep backing down that trail? Who are you performing for? Over here. Excuse me, guard dogs, nothing to see here. There's nothing over here. Suppose I nightingale it up. Tunes. Uh, 
Okay. Alright, that was nothing. That was... That was a nothing. Okay. So presumably that accomplished something. What the? What the heck? I don't know about you. Okay, well... I, I have to imagine... How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> I want that nightingale to leave my girlfriend alone. Is that dude back? Oh, I don't have my ring anymore. Hello. So I can't. I can't mess with this guy. No. All right. Enough. You're so right. I literally just watched him pour a bunch of stuff in that jar. Alexander sorts through the odds and ends that the pawn shop owner dumped into the pot. Magic exploding gum wrappers. Oh. A shattered crystal ball. Okay. A cracked wand. A fake thumb. Hmm. Hmm. Near the bottom, Alexander finds a little glass bottle labeled ink. It appears to be empty, but Alexander decides to take it anyway. You never know when a small bottle will come in handy. That's true. Okay. Alexander's carrying a little ink bottle. It appears to be empty. Okay. All right. All right. That's something. I can't... All right, so I don't have my ring. I can't impress Jolo. The girl is too far away to hold a conversation with Alexander. Away. Alexander is a little busy for that... Jeepers, creepers. All right. Start polishing the silverware! Mm -hmm. Do I have to tell you everything? Yes, stepmother. Right away. That sucks. Alright, so what do I have here? So I got... <laughs> I got map, so I can do map now. I get the ink. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Uh, I get the rabbit's foot, which doesn't... It doesn't feel like I'm in a much different situation than I was last time. Uh, let's talk to Jolo. Did I talk to Jolo on this save file? Oh, he's gone. Good day. Never mind. Goodbye. Because he just comes back periodically. All right. Uh, so you do that. I feel like the move is to bail on this island, but I don't know. I don't know... Yeah, I also... I'm feeling bail, but I don't know where I could go. The dwarves are gonna murder me if I go to the Fantasy Island. Or the Wonder... The Island of Wonders, or... Whatever it is. I don't have anything that can stop me from dying in a boiling pond. I still don't have... Any... Insight into the logic cliffs. Yeah, I am scared of dwarves. I am a scared of those dwarves. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. First, let's save. Talk to the clan. I'm so weary, but I Rusty. What is that thing in the water? Is that important to me? A string <laughs> of letters floats in the water. The letters spell out, where are you going? Alexander's heard of alphabet soup, but this is ridiculous. Jeez. Alright. Um, if I try to leave, those dwarves are going to come at me. Give the mint to the Oyster. Hey, hey, hey! What's up? How is it going? Pseudo octopus. I. That won't do anything for the little oyster. It'll get it hammered and then it will fall asleep. Uh. I can pour ink on the oyster. I can read the. Oh, I can put the oyster to sleep with this stupid book. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. <laughs> That's great. Hey, that would be great! 
Oh, it's very ugly Two and cute. Two dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers divided into equal parts <laughs> by the third of a cackle of grouse geese put over the result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of fifty-three and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard, <laughs> yields a gilded minnow of precise measurements, two thousand sixty-nine centadrills by three million twenty-three yeah. <laughs> and six Don't sevenths face. puns, not punts, as might be expected. <laughs> This is not to say, however, in any sense whatsoever, that deviations in mean temperature of five or six dregs or so uh -huh. indicate a fabrication or derivation sufficiently broad enough to exacerbate the I love conclusions it. uncovered in due course <laughs> with going. regards to the dimensions, consistency, Mass or thickness inherent. I was just in thinking, like whoever grass. this guy is that they got to voice Alexander mm. understands what he's doing completely. I'll take that. Damn it! Mm. Whoa! Oh God! The poor little oyster falls into an uneasy sleep, though it's clear he is still not resting easy. Alexander decides to leave him to his nap. I missed a. I miss the... Alexander doesn't want to wake up the sleeping oyster. I miss the oyster. I mean, I miss the pearl. Should I do that again? I felt like I was supposed to grab the pearl just now, and I missed it. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to give you a chance to respond, but my instinct tells me... Okay, hold on, hold on. Check the pockets. Yeah, all right. I'm that little... Well, if it's already asleep. The oyster is resting rather on his... Yeah, I was... I just... I saved right before that. I'll restore. I was, uh... I was laughing too hard at the bit. Perhaps Alexander should find out more oh, about... Jesus Christ. Two dulcimers raised to the degree Honestly, of 40 half dulcimers... I get to listen to this again? Divided into equal parts... By the third of a cackle of grouse geese, put he over the result reads, of ten fine mackles, reads this ridiculous small fine mackle, <laughs> stretched over so the earnestly. Of fifty-three and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard, mm. yields a gilded minnow of precise measurements, two thousand sixty-nine centadrills by three million twenty-three and six sevenths puns, not punts, as might be expected. Not punts. This is punts. not to say, however, in any sense whatsoever, that deviations in mean temperature of five or six dregs or so. Mm. Yep. Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. I'll take that. Thank you. Ah, the little oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest of his oyster <laughs> friends. Not punts, punts. As would be expected. Alright, so that's cool. So I did a pearl. Let's save. Um, these are dead. Um, okay, now I don't have... I still am going to get murdered by those dwarves if they come out. I'm guessing. Does anyone want a pearl that I can think of? Oh, I can probably get my ring back, right? Let's try. Oh, wait, what does the pearl say? Uh... The flawless pearl is the largest Alexander's ever seen. It's a big pearl. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and get the my. The magic map is made of thin leather and has lifelike you... drawings of the islands on its uneven surface. One more thing besides get murdered. Alexander wades into the sea to get the strange object in the water. The ocean currents tug at Alexander's legs. Hmm, that object is just a bit out of reach. F. I really want that thing. Keeps every once in a while it comes close. There we go. Hip. Alexander picks up the object floating in the water 
It appears to be a string of letters. Mm -hmm. They say, where are you going? Alexander decides to keep the odd sentence, yeah. even though it is incomplete. Jesus. <laughs> Alexander is carrying, oddly enough, a sentence. It says, where are you going? Okay. Is that the thing, or is there more here that you want me to try and do? I'm confident that I'm going to get murdered if I try and go anywhere on this island. F, all right. Uh, the dwarves were murdering me. All right, I'm going to go this way. Alexander hears someone coming. It's the dwarves. They're going to murder me. They're going to throw me in the water. I am here. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I do got this. I don't have anything smell related. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna go get the. I'll go get that flower. Yeah, I had it before. Okay. Oh, there's the feather. It's just sitting right there. Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its hideously strong, skunk-like odor. For a moment, he can smell nothing else. Jeez. Alexander takes the feather. You're going to get banned talking like that. All right, uh, let's see how Alexander this goes. pulls out his magic map. I don't know if I have everything that I need. Alexander I feels a... Alexander hears someone coming. Oh, it's already gone. I went too fast. Okay, so I know I used the flower uh, on this guy. I'm... I must... I don't know. I don't know what else. After that, I assume there's one that's touch that maybe I can use the feather for, perhaps. Eyes, maybe the ink. The sentence, perhaps, on the one that listens. These are guesses. But I know the flower is the flower, so. A gnome with a huge nose stands before Alexander. No, use the flower. Use the flower, you dingus. Alexander Cheers. holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench <laughs> has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. <laughs> Listen, hark <laughs> you, bro. All right, I'm thinking the sentence. Maybe a shout at him. What do you think? The nightingale? That's true. All right, well, let's try the nightingale then. My ears can't miss that strong Damn heartbeat. It. Next. I guess those gnomes couldn't reach a consensus. Yay! Okay. <laughs> that scene is so good. All right, so we've got the flower, which I need to go get again. And the nightingale, presumably. All right, Alexander um, wouldn't want to throw oh that. Oh, my God. Alexander... Alexander. Okay. First, save. And... Coming. <laughs> no, I don't believe they've mentioned that part. Tom Trump. Okay. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears.
Oh, oh, he's into it. I'm also into it. A nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A <laughs> nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. Wow. Just that easy. Taste, rhythm, taste. We like no know. mint. Whether the wind or whether the foe. Alexander holds the mint out for the gnome with the gigantic mouth. Grump Flump knows a tasty treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so <laughs> sweet. Yeah, these gnomes are dicks. Trilly Dilly, use your hand. Trilly Dilly. Is it beast or is it man? Alright, we got hands. Uh, rabbit's foot, I'm guessing. Mm, let's try it. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A <laughs> hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. Okay, what's this one? Old Bill Batter, never fatter. Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. What do I have that's vision? Oh, thank. Uh, hip. Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. What the? By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. Let's now away. Dang. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. We did it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're morons. Save. All right. Um, cool. Um, I'm probably going to uh, hop off here um, as it is getting a little bit late for me. Uh, but I appreciate everyone hanging tough. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing some more of this next time. Uh, um, yes, yes, thank you. I thought that was going to be a huge deal and I got through it because you believed in me. Got a whole new island. Now I can play around on this island, and it's going to be just fine. I'm, no one's going to try and murder me. Um, but uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks for working with me on that and helping me get through the hard times and uh, beating those asshole dwarves or gnomes. I'm going dwarves. Um, but I appreciate you all, and uh, I hope you have a good night, and I will see you on the next one. And until then, uh, you're great. And everyone is great, and you're all lovely and wonderful, and thank you very much. Have a good night.